So we filled this up with soap and it went viral in my city. Filled what up? What is that? Is that a lake? Is that a pool? What is that? It went vi- that's- look at that amount of soap. Oh no. I bet they got in trouble for that. Depending. Depending if there was any kind of danger involved, if something happened. But for that to go viral in your city for TikTok, it definitely caused waves. Soapy waves. Look at those bubbles. What is that? I can't picture what that is. Like pool? A lake? A stream? What? What is it? I don't know. Never let a stranger sit by themselves. You'll be surprised what tales they have to tell. And it's, oh, so it's an old woman who was sitting by herself and then he went over and then he took a picture with you. That's sweet, that's sweet. Bro, this is your grandma. We, stop it right now. Bro, this is your grandma. We go to church together, come on. <laughs> That is so humiliating. You went out of your way to go out for lunch with your grandma, stage this entire thing and take this like consecutive like amount of photos to tell this story and then write this beautiful thing on Twitter. Like bro, that's humiliating. How about you just enjoy your time with your grandma and call it a day? Like this is so dumb. It's so unnecessary. People are weird. <laughs> never think to do that ever so strange and like wouldn't your family be like that's grandma god of mercy part of me is hoping no that's not even any better i was gonna say part of me is hoping that this is like a green screen and like that's not really a thing but even that would be incredibly disrespectful and insensitive but i thought it was photoshopped man's is straight up posing with his Louis Vuitton and his outfit and he's like posing like aesthetically, like get a picture for the gram. And that is, correct me if I am wrong, the Auschwitz camp and tracks in the background. I just have no hope. Like I have no, no hope for future generations, none. Like this, are you kidding? What is your caption? Please tell me what your caption is for this. That's what I'm most curious about. Like with your Louis Vuitton, your white blazer, posing, like what is your caption? Would you possibly caption something like that? Dummies. I'm like so annoyed by that. So we got some tanned goddess over here who does look fire, by the way, posing in these, oh, orange is my favorite color. So she's posing in all these orange flowers. And then we have, oh. You know, part of me wondered that for a second. I was looking at her picture and I'm like, was there a break in the flowers? Or are you just lying on top of some of these flowers? Well, she has completely destroyed the field and very much, in fact, just laid on top of them. I don't mind if there's like a break in them and like you lie on the open grass and then the flowers are like around you, but like to destroy nature like that for a photo? <sighs> What people will do for the gram. This is taking that saying, do it for the gram, like to a whole other level. Like, have we no pride left? Have we no values or common sense? And then like to post that. I don't know, I don't know. It's a nice photo though. Like I'm not, it's a nice photo. I like the orange. The orange flower is my favorite. Bruh, can I borrow your tats for my Tinder pic? What does that mean? It's kind of smart. Like I will give credit where credit is due. The picture, the selfie, uh, that would fool me a hundred percent. That whole like, uh, that would fool me. I would believe that that is your arm, truly. That behind the scenes photo <laughs> is kind of iconic. This is a genius idea. However, when people see you in person, you're not going to have a sleeve, man. So what's the plan here at all? Like someone could run into you at the grocery store. Like when people see you at school the next day, like none of it makes sense. Unless like maybe they're like in an online relationship with someone far away and they're trying to catfish them. But even then you're gonna meet them eventually and you got no freaking tats. Wow. Yeah, that's, it's really, it's smart. But then when you think about like actually it's dumb, like it's really dumb, but like kind of smart. You get it? Good idea. But then when you think it out, it's like really stupid. How? Oh my God, that has to hurt. 
So this was a TikTok. I can't even imagine seeing this TikTok. But these girls are making a TikTok of their car in the car wash and they're like hopping on top. That water pressure <gasps> would pierce through your skin. You can't even tell me because when I'm in my car and I hear the sound of that water pressure, like it could break glass. You can't even convince me that that can't break bones, okay? Or your skin, like that has to hurt. No? Am I being dramatic? Is it me? Am I the drama? Tell me, somebody, that, it looks so painful. You could not pay me, you could not, okay, maybe. Like depends what lump sum, but it'd be a lot of money to do that. Mm-mm. Like my biggest fear in car washes is like water getting through or me getting stuck in there and having to crawl out and face the death of the water pressure. I don't even understand. Like does no one else have this fear? My sister said she was going hiking. This is our backyard. Okay, there's a lot of pictures happening. So right side, oh my God, she even tagged a trail. That's the worst part. So this girl took this cute photo, wrote nature is the ultimate healer to all our problems. Hashtag nature lovers. And then she tagged park and trail. And it does legitimately look like she's in the middle of a trail. Then our sister exposed her with a behind the scenes and goes, my sister said she was going hiking. This is our backyard. That is embarrassing. She really committed to that. Like really, she did a dumb thing and she stuck it out. She went through, she followed through with it. She tagged a trail. She wrote hashtag nature lovers. Like it's embarrassing. Like, doesn't this make you think about the things you see every day online and be like, how real is that though? Oh, <gasps> if you don't know this story, let me fill you in. This is Chair Girl. I don't personally know Chair Girl, but I know her because she became famous in Toronto for this video. This girl is on TikTok or was, and she decided to throw a chair off her condo balcony onto the highway in ongoing traffic. So obviously when the video went viral and people realized that she literally could have caused a terrible accident and harmed anybody, there was a lawsuit out and a warrant out for her arrest and she like fled to Las Vegas and stuff. It was the whole thing of hair. Um, so I don't even, you wouldn't get it. You'd be like, what is happening? Like you'd kind of get she threw a chair, but I don't think you understand the extent of how high her balcony was and over a highway. And it was this whole lawsuit. You can literally Google chair, chair girl Toronto and she will come up. I had all the deets on that. Uh. I don't know why I'm bragging, like as if that should be what you think of when you come to Toronto, but like Toronto is full of dumb people, apparently. Decided to pour the contents of a snow globe into a glass and drink it. Why? We'll keep you updated on how this goes. First of all, why? That is so strange. Like, isn't it just like a gel oil thing with fake snow in it. Like that was the dumbest thing I've probably ever said and like, duh. But like, I don't, I wouldn't, I've never thought to drink a snow globe is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, then they tweeted hospital. So obviously there's like a toxin or something in that gel liquid that you cannot drink. Doesn't it say on snow globes, do not drink? Correct me if I'm wrong. Like I need to know this. I'm pretty sure snow globes say do not eat or drink. I'm not even kidding. I mean, y'all, we had to write that on freaking Tide Pods a few years ago because of this world. <sighs> what? are we even living in? Sometimes when this happens, I'm like, is this, are we in like a, sim a simulation? Stimulation, like wait, simulation? Stimulation? What's the difference? I'm so dumb, let's move on. I don't know what the difference is between those two words. That's humiliating. Oh, I just smeared my lip gloss. I'm just dumb on all levels today. ASMR YouTube, ugh, you're kidding. ASMR YouTubers are eating deodorant, glass, and rocks. That picture makes me gag. That would taste so bad. Deodorant smells nice, but that would taste ugh, like so bitter. It would taste like cleaning supplies. Like why? Why? You can't eat candy. You can't eat chips. That has a nice sound to them. You can't like open packages of different products. Like why we gotta start eating feminine hygiene products? This world y'all, and glass and rocks. This is what I was talking about. Like how is this real life? 
that whole ASMR thing, let me know if you guys are an ASMR person. I cannot stand it. And it's no shade to people who enjoy ASMR, like kudos to you. Or if you do ASMR, it's just not my thing. I'm like, oh, like it sends chills up my spine. They're whispering. Like the sound of people chewing, like, no, I don't even wanna hear that just like in a room with someone, let alone heightened in a microphone with no like si like dead silence around them. Like, why would I do that to myself? That's a nightmare. Those are some dumb people that owned it. They stuck to it. They did a dumb thing and they were like, well, follow through with it at this point. You know what I'm saying? We've all done dumb things though. Let's be real. I've done a whole lot of them in my life. Uh, I'm also just not very bright on all levels of life. Anyways, you guys, let me know the dumb things you have done right in the comments or the dumbest thing that you've seen someone do. I want to hear about it. Give me the tea. Until then, subscribe to keep hanging out and I will see you in another video. Bye.